Hello, this is Peg with Craft Room Stories. Welcome to my channel. We are here for another episode of Hashtag Tagtastic, hosted by Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. And this is a challenge of a week of tags with different prompts. So today's prompt... I don't know why no. I get up here to do a video and they have to bark. My guess is somebody's driving by as per usual. Okay, anyway, I have put some of these together so as to keep this video from being too long. Um, today's prompt, well, I don't really know what it's called, but uh, hidden writing spaces, maybe? Um, okay, so really what you're doing is you're uh, gluing two you know, one tag on another piece of paper and then I cut it apart and then I cut it in half. You, you don't glue it the whole way. You just glue the edges, okay? And then, um, then I cut another piece of paper for the hidden writing spot and we're going to glue it in. I, I left one to do so that you could see how we're going to do it and also I didn't decorate any of them so you could see that part that's the most fun part anyway but so here's what I've done I have cut I have glued a tag to uh, the back of a manila um, not manila envelope but a file folder and then and I just glued the edges all the way around and then I cut the top off and then as you can see it is hollow in there and I inked around the edges we don't ink the part that we cut because we want it to be like kind of a mystery like this you can't really tell unless you hold it certain ways and we're gonna maybe disguise it with some lace and different trims and things like that so here is what I did I put the piece of writing paper in there not yeah just like that and then I glued Sorry for my arm in your face. And then I glued this part front and back and we put the top on. So I'm just showing you this because it's pretty basic. It's pretty easy. It, it, you know, it looks like it should be hard, but it's really, really not hard. Now my dogs are playing, so they're liable to make any kind of noise. I'm gonna ask my husband to squirt them with water if they start to get loud, please. Okay, so now Got to make sure I put the right piece in front. Ooh, and I got to do it before it dries. Okay. And then we fit that right on just like that. Kind of rub it in. And then I go ahead and pull it apart a little bit to make sure that there was no glue seepage around either any side. This side had some. Otherwise, you're likely to glue that pocket right together and there'll be no hidden writing spot. It'll be hidden all right. <laughs> hidden from everybody, including you. Okay, so I'm just uh, erasing a little bit of the glue off of there. Then we're going to just push that back together. I picked a pretty sturdy piece of paper to go on the inside of uh, uh, some cardstock because you're pushing it back and forth. You don't want a flimsy piece of paper on the inside. Therefore, these tags actually are pretty sturdy because of the movement back and forth. I think if you tried to use do it with just regular paper or copy paper, it just wouldn't be strong enough. You need cardstock for this. So here's this loveliness, and we're gonna take, and then, okay, I'll show you the ones I've done. This one's the one we're gonna decorate. I've got this one. And this one, this one, and this one. Aren't they fun? Okay, so I'm going to decorate these ones off camera, and I'm going to go ahead and decorate this one on camera. I think we are going to try to find a piece of lace. Look at this lace, y'all. Oh, I do have an addiction to lace. I know it. It is true. Um and some trims, some fun trims. Ooh, and I've got a little fabric butterfly here we might also use. Let's see about that. Okay, so let's find, this is kind of more of a peachy pink, 
but we're going to mix some of the shades together maybe. Uh, I feel like that's kind of too almost bubblegummy pink, so we may go with a more pale color. I don't know. I want it to show up for sure. Let's see. I'm going to figure it out, y'all. I probably should have had this part figured out beforehand, and I did not. It may need to be kind of, and you could do ribbon. You could do anything, I think. I don't want to do ribbon, but um, I just, I don't know if this is going to be, you know, it's kind of see-through, which is fun, but is that going to disguise it enough? I don't know. And like others, I have the hardest time telling which is front and which is back. Is that too big of a piece of lace? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know if I'm feeling it. Um, I'm looking here. Of course, when I'm trying to find just, ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. This is pretty. And I actually have this in a wider piece as well if I choose to use a wider piece. That's kind of fun. Let me find my wider piece. that is similar in color. Okay, I think we'll do that. Let's see what we've got here. How does that look? That's kind of pretty, I think. I wonder if I should have used purple. I'm not gonna, I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm waffling y'all, waffling about. Okay. All right, so you have to make sure that when you're gluing it, you just glue it either to the top or the bottom, but not both. I'm going to glue it to the top because I want it to pull out in, um, you know, with the top piece and just kind of hang over that cracked bit that we've cut. And I'm just putting a little bit of glue right on the very okay that's pretty straight I think let's make sure it still comes out yep may have to adjust that but that's to me, that's completely fine. Although, I've just put it back in crooked, so, you know, you could possibly do that, like me. Okay, and now we're going to take, I know this is pretty pink, but we're going to kind of catch up on some of these things. I'm going to cut off just a little piece of this. I like this end better. And let's kind of cut these little pokey things that are left hanging out. And I don't know if any of you guys are doing this um, hashtag tagtastic, but it's so fun and it's totally going to build up. I'm going to burn a little bit of this. It's totally going to build up your stash of tags. I'm doing this off camera because I've got the fan blowing and it'll blow my flame out. But I am burning the little um edges of this. Okay, so ooh, that's a pretty piece. I like that. Now what we have to make sure that we do is I'm going to, these little butterflies, I love them, but they are embroidered and they leave a little bit much of the stuff around the edge and I just trim it a little bit more because um, I just feel like there's too much of that kind of tool hanging off the edge of it. And so I'm just going to trim that real quick. Sometimes I burn it, but I have to be really, really careful and I'm trying to go fast. So, all right. You probably can't even see that, but there's a little bit of this. 
and that bugs me. So I'm also not a person who can leave a whole lot of um, threads dangling if I've sewed around something. Can't do it. Okay, so let's see. Where did we want this lovely thing? I feel like it belongs at the top. Maybe here. Or maybe not. Maybe by the flower. We'll just cluster those up together. And we may put a little gem in the middle of the flower. Okay, just, that is really hard to tell. Okay, I'm going to hot glue this down. Oh, this goes this way, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to hot glue this down because it goes much faster if I do that, and I'll try not to burn myself because I have a super talent for that. And then we'll just kind of glue the center of this down. And I am going to, do we want flowers in the middle of it or is that like too much flowers? I think it might be, we need a little gem. So I think I'll do this little pearly flower that has a little kind of blingy center. And I think that'll look cute. Yeah, I like that. So we're just gonna hot glue that down Got a few glue threads going around, flying about. Okay, so I think that's cute, and I'm going to trim a little bit of this because I don't want it overhanging quite that much. Okay, why is this so complicated? I don't know. Okay. This works better if I do the long scissors, but I just had these in my hand, so. Okay, that looks better. And let's get a little word to go on this or a little scripture or something. Let me see. I have got uh, my scriptures down here. I need to print some more and cut them because I am running low. I always love that God is my refuge and strength and it is well with myself. Of course, that's not a scripture, that's a song. But sometimes I have song lyrics and sometimes I have um, scriptures. Oh, I like this one. Cast all your cares on him because he cares about you. 1 Peter 5, 7. Let's do that one. And I'm looking at this and still feeling like maybe it's missing a little something. Uh, maybe it needs a little person. Or maybe I should leave it alone. I don't know. I struggle with that. Let me... Let me put a little lace behind this I think um, I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use um, maybe this this is a coffee dyed lace I coffee dyed it and I like it I have a bunch of it that's just regular white as well, but it is really a pretty lace. I'm trying to cut off some of these ends a little bit. Okay. Do we want this at the top? Oh, I think we do. So I'm going to trim this just a little bit more.
do we want everything on the same side? If I do it over here, is that going to be, yeah, um, in a line? Either way, it's going to be in kind of a line. Maybe we'll just do it over here. Okay. I know you're like, stop waffling, get cracking, get it done. Okay, so I just use the hot glue on this and that way it just tamps down that lace because it's got big enough holes that we can just do it that way and not burn ourselves. Okay, and then we will put, let's see, I've got some seam binding here. We'll just put that in there. And I will just tie it in a little knot. She says, okay, let's get in there. Get the little knot. Okay. There we go. Isn't that fun? Okay, y'all need to get in there and try to make some of these. I love interactive things. Pockets and tags and everything. So, oh, this one is just not cooperating. Okay, get in there. Well, I can see where this could be a problem if that gets tucked in, so you may have to hold it up like that while you fit it back together. That worked. Okay, there we go. Wasn't that fun? Hopefully this wasn't too long of a video. And stay tuned for day, this was day three. And stay tuned for day four, where the prompt is, um, I think, like ovals or something like that. So... Uh, but there is something, uh, I have done something a little bit unique for tomorrow. I've done it ahead of time so that I can uh, make these videos quickly. So, stick with me. Hugs, bye!